Okay, I am back with leather accessories and gifts. Um, and I would say that this is the Valentine's Day edition, but I hope for your sake that it's not, because today is the 10th. Uh, and by this time this video is up, it's probably, frankly, going to be the 12th. So if you haven't gotten something by now, uh, you're in a world of hurt. Looks like it's going to be a chocolates, flower, wine Valentine's for you. Um, so anyways, I'm behind. So I'm just going to call it leather accessories and gifts. And maybe you could use these for Mother's Day. I don't know. But anyways, I have all sorts of cutesy fun things that I've sort of been putting off debuting or demoing or whatever and I was like I'm gonna do it like the weather's kind of nice and kind of feeling kind of feeling it but anyways I am going away soon and I packed up my little bag like demo packed it just to see if like what could fit in there so we're gonna go through everything that's in here um and it's kind of like my new way to pack and then I like this is my hand and hide which I talk about all the time so this is uh the riveted version see the rivets instead of the stitching um and I love it. I love it for kind of just generically everything, traveling with it on the weekend, whatever. I can't use it as a work bag because my laptop doesn't fit, um, but I just, I love it. And so this is the bag I'm taking with me. So we are going to go through all of this. And before we get started, I want to talk about two things. Look at this silly thing that I got. Actually, I didn't get it. My husband got it because he's so kind to me. But anyways, it's a measuring thing. And I'll put up the more legit name because that's not the actual name. But so it's cool because, look... Like I could use this thingy and I I press like this and I can tell you guys, um, well I did that backwards, dang. Okay, let me do it this way. So you could do it like this. I feel like I'm being really not smart about this. You know what, let me just put this to the side. We're gonna figure this thing out later, but whatever. It's gonna tell you the thickness of the leather, so I think it's cool. Um, okay, so the first thing is, Da -da -da. This is from OLPR, um, and I recently did an unboxing on this, um, and I didn't really have a chance to like test it out and take it away on the weekend. And this is traditionally a dog kit, which for whatever reason, you guys ever have that neighbor where you're like, oh, we kind of don't see eye to eye. Uh, anyways, they've decided they're going to start landscaping because I'm out here doing this. But anyways, say la vie, first world problems. So this is from OLPR. Um, and I did an unboxing on it not too long ago. And I, what I love about it, first of all, is obviously the quality of the leather, the size, uh, and the handle. So it just makes it really easy for me to pull it in and out of the bag. It's interesting because, and then also this, look at this detail. Like, you didn't have to do that, but you did it. So I kind of like it. It is a YKK uh, zipper, so it's really nice. Um, the handle here is optional, but for me, I feel like it's kind of crucial to pull it in and out of the bag. Um, and it's funny to me, these bags, because dog kits are always earmarked as being for men when they travel. And to me, I'm like, okay, well, my husband doesn't bring shampoo and conditioner because he uses whatever's in the hotel when we get there. And he doesn't use lotion and he doesn't use uh, like exfoliator or face wash, whatever. So I'm like, why in the world? And he doesn't really even shave anymore, frankly. We're basically like one step away from uh, being mountain people. But, um, so I'm like, why in the world do women have these like itty bitty cosmetic bags and we're the people that carry like 10 different lotions? So anyways, I'm like, I want one of these. So, and I have it, you can get it for free with up to four initials. And I put my daughter's initials on there because this is um, a buy it for life kind of product. It's gonna be around. And so as a testimony to that, I put her initials, not mine. So that uh, when I, can you imagine if my daughter doesn't like leather, by the way, I would die. But I imagine that she will. And so, um, so I put her initials on it, but let's get into it. It's got a really nice, easy zipper. It's packed to the gills. Check it out. Um, and I want to just show you how much is in this thing. So I have in here uh, my exfoliator. I never used to exfoliate until like a year or two ago. Um, and then I got this thing and I exfoliate like every two, three days. And I feel like it really helps my eczema. This is super gentle. Um, and I use zero pressure. So I let the jojoba beads do all the work. Um, and I warm it in my hands, and then when I'm in the shower, I do this every like two, three days. Um, and so I sort of can't live without it. I wish the bottle was like a little smaller, but I can't complain because um, it's lasted so insanely long. Um, and so, anyway, so I bring that with me. And then this also really helps with my allergies. It's like a, a Neil Med, but it, anyways, it, it um, I don't know what you'd say, but it sort of like moisturizes your nose. So if you have allergies, do you guys hear those birds? It's so lovely, but I think they're like, this 
bird is like going for the world record song. Um, and then this, I was so proud of myself. This is actually from Colonel Littleton and it's cologne. Um, but it's Colonel Littleton, right? So it isn't just do cologne. It's not just cologne in a glass bottle. It's, it's got some detail. So check it out. Uh, I actually got this from my husband a while back and he loves it. And it's just got this sweet little leather sleeve that of course is engraved. Uh, stunningly beautiful and then it's got this and I'll put a still after so you can appreciate it this like um, metal label on it that's just really nice it's I wouldn't it's just this side of not being unisex I mean it's obviously cologne meant for men but it's not it's not so strong um, I don't know I kind of like it it's just it's exactly what you think a Colonel Littleton leather cologne would be um, it's just enough so you can appreciate it, not over the top. Um, and I'm going to show you something else, Colonel Littleton, later. And then I, this thing's so big, like I don't even have to put my travel deodorant in there. I just put the full-size deodorant. The only other thing I will say is before I put it on, I like clean the heck out of the rim because I didn't want all this deodorant, which I think uh, would stick to the bag. So I cleaned all that out. Um, and then I carry this, which is... Um, I kind of like things like this. It's kind of weird, hippie-ish, but it comes from this farm in Washington where this family had this little girl that had eczema and her mom started kind of crafting um, this salve to help her get rid of her eczema and it worked. And anyway, so it comes from the Fay Farm in Washington and it's like, I'll show it to you what it looks like. It's almost kind of like, uh, like a heavier aquaphor, I guess. It has a slight scent to it. Not that it's scented. It's just that they didn't, they didn't add any or try to take things out uh, to make it unscented. It's just whatever the scent of the products are there is what this is. So I'll use this a lot at night. Um, like I'll put it on my lips and if I'm dry all over, I have to get a shower, I'll put this whole thing on. Um, I'm not sponsored by the way. I just wanted to tell you that. I just like using this and this is genuinely what I'm gonna pack uh, when I go away. And I was just trying to see if that would all fit. And then I carry this um, and you've seen this before. This is the Love 41 essential oils pouch. And I, I keep it in the dob kit, but when I go out and about, I keep it in my purse because it's it's like small and I put um, like my Cetaphil, full, like I have a sample lotion that I just keep refilling. And then I keep like sunscreen and Tylenol and Advil and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I just like it. It's got a nipple rivet closure. It's like I scratched it all. It's all scratched and not in a bad way. Like it has a lot of character, but I don't baby it. Like I throw it in my bag, whatever. Um, and it's kind of nice for just carrying all those like odds and ends. Good thing that didn't fall down. That was the deodorant. Um, and then this is something that I started using. I don't know why I didn't start using it before. So it's a uh, Curel and it's it's for people with super sensitive skin. And I used to use um, their, their one for the all over body and I kind of liked it. So I started using it on my face. Um, and anyways, it's just nice because it's, it's uh, very good for people with sensitive skin fits perfect in the dock kit and it's actually a full-size lotion so I can use it both for face and body while I am traveling this thing I'm like on the fence if I'm gonna put it in here because I obviously lost the cap but I find that it's really good also um, for sensitive skin so it's my sunscreen and I put this on my kit all the time um, used to by the way and it works and then there's this which is probably like I dare you to find a cheaper chapstick than this the cheapest that there is but um, it gets really, really, really high ratings um, just for not having junk in there and for being SPF, it goes on really well. Uh, it says it's very emollient. I actually had to look that up because I was like, what's emollient? But anyways, it's just, I think it's a fancy word essentially for very moisturizing. So uh, that's what's in there. And then usually, and I didn't fill it up yet and I need to, I usually bring my own shampoo because I can't use this stuff in the thing because it'll like irritate my scalp. So um, I wanted to make sure that all that crazy could fit in there. Indeed it does. So uh, let me try this thing out. Since I kind of failed you guys last time. You know what I think it is? It's like I'm right-handed. And so I'm trying to do it right-handed. Let me do it this way. Okay, so I've changed the settings and this isn't working at all. So anyways, whatever. Stay tuned. At some point, you're going to see this in my videos. Um, so that's it. The dot kit is empty. When it comes to you, it comes actually bent. So if you're not using it or whatever, it folds down and it's no worse for the wear at all. But I will put that to the side. That was OLPR, family firm, uh, guaranteed for life. Anyways, 
let's keep going. So I have a lot of other stuff in here. Um, I don't use, after I got this thing, I no longer use key fobs that are in the purse, which is great because this purse actually doesn't have a key fob. So um, I started using this fish hook thing and it's just like, while I'm on the go, I get out of the car. I don't even have to think about it. I start walking and put this in without like, any effort. Anyways, you see it's got all kinds of crazy on there. This normally is not on there. It's normally just my keys. But um, but I put this on there and I'll put the link to it below. And I think it came from England. I bought this thing. I initially bought this thing for my husband because um, I thought he could put bullets in there. And then he explained to me like, you know what those actually, it's not for those kind of bullets. It's for whatever. Anyways, so this came back my way because he had no use for it. Um, and so I put silly things in here. It doesn't have a ton of capacity, but I put things in here and like my little girl uses it. I thought she had more stuff in there. But anyway, she's super into rocks, so she'd put like rocks in there. It's kind of nice because if we're out at a restaurant, I can have little things in here that she can play with. Um, like she's super into rocks and she's super like marbles like we she's very into marbles if i go into a hotel it's nice that they're all here and she's in the back seat um again the plane i love the noise it's hilarious um or you could keep coins whatever but it's nice and it clips right onto my keys but let's keep going and then the other thing that i'm gonna carry on my trip there's a couple other things but this is the Love 41 cosmetic bag, which I did an unboxing for you, but I never did um, a review, and I still haven't. But this is just a teaser review. I carry this um, because it fits in my bigger bag. I use it as a lunch purse, and then if you wanted to, you could also use it as a cosmetic bag, which is that its initial purpose. But when I'm on vacation, I like it as like an easy carry bag. Like if I'm gonna go out to dinner or something like that, I don't wanna carry a giant bag. Um, but you could also hold your makeup if you wanted to. I actually just put in here the crossbody because it has the crossbody or the baby handle and actually both could fit in there since I, uh, if you wanted to save room in your main bag. Um, but I just feel like it's a really nice thing for just like wallet, keys, phone, chapstick, we're rolling. Uh, so it's a good bag to have on vacation, I feel like, and it's easy to access. Um, okay, and then this from Colonel Littleton, which you might have seen from when I somehow won that Colonel Littleton Instagram runner-up. Um, and it's a number one pouch, and it opens really easy, and I kind of just put, I put a lipstick, a lipstick that has a sunscreen, and then I put, I kind of have to do this, I put a, a lip gloss, so it's really long. You just have to make sure you put that in first. And then I also put a bunch of these, like Band-Aids, for Kiddo, who um, is super into Band-Aids. If she even gets like the slightest, tiniest cut, like it's Band-Aid time. So, so anyways, I put all that in my pouch. And like, it comes in this pouch, which is cute. But I wanted to show you the pouch because I ordinarily wouldn't do it. But the reason, I wouldn't carry a pouch in a pouch. Uh, this would just be more for storage, but the reason that I didn't want to show it to you was if you want to carry colognes or perfume and, and you don't want them like in your job kit or in something that where the smell might transfer, I think it's actually super nice to put it in here so that, um, not that it's going to break because it's got that leather sleeve, but anyways, if you're sensitive to smells and you don't want your bag to smell like that, it's kind of nice to put it in here. So anyways, that was the Colonel Littleton thing. And I'm going to set these to the side. I have a couple more things. When I go on vacation, I don't typically wear a ton of jewelry. I don't wear a ton of jewelry, period. So I'll maybe bring, like, the rings that I have on and the earrings that I have on. I actually probably won't even bring these. I'll bring, like, tiny little studs. Um, but I like to bring a couple of odds and ends just in case, like, I feel like we're going to go out someplace, whatever. Or if, whatever, I just feel like dressing up. Um, and so these are something that these are like a set of leather bracelets with silver detail on them. And I actually wear these a lot when I'm at work, whatever, um, on the weekends. It doesn't have an adjustment, so it just kind of goes on. If you have big wrists, I don't know if this would work out because you could see me, like, I wouldn't say I'm struggling, but it requires some doing to get it over your, your sort of knuckle area. But they're fun and I wear them all the time and I feel like they could sort of be dressed up, dressed down professional or casual. This is Boo Boo Leather on Etsy. Um, Etsy is the black hole, and so I'm sad that I've started to start looking on there because there's so many amazing leather artisans on Etsy. 
uh, you've been warned. Don't go on there unless you're prepared to start buying. And then this one is from Amy Lane Leather. And the same, it's just like a really beautiful necklace, silver bangles that are sort of pounded and have texture to them. Um, and then it's got sweet like bead detailing. So it's just fun. I don't know. So I wanted to have like a leather necklace and a leather bracelet in case I felt like uh, wearing stuff like that when I'm on vacation. So, and then my wallet is my all snap, which has been kind of my go-to for a thousand years. You can see I've obviously stuffed it to the gills because it's time to admit that I'm not a minimalist wallet person, but I like this so much that I carry it all the time. Um, and it's been used and abused because I stuff it so fat and it's really meant, I think, for like four cards, but there's cash and there's wallets and there's receipts that I need to request for reimbursements, whatever. But it's just, it's flawless. If you're thinking of all snap, do it. Her price point's really good. The leather holds up like a champ. This leather part, because it's half leather, half suede, has gotten real butter soft. Um, okay, so that's it for inside the bag. And then the last thing that I wanna show you, which is this. You know, by the way, the tree stump here is funny and I felt the need to uh, to showcase it because there was tree stumps like down the road where uh, somebody cut up this big old tree and I told my husband like, oh, you should get four of those. And he's like, those weigh 8,000 pounds. So I made him bring four of them because I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this weekend project where I shave them down and turn them into footstools because I saw these are for sale at the Pottery Barn for literally like $300. And I was like, that's kind of silly. I could just make one myself. Um, so I never did it. You can see it's still in its rough original state. But I felt like, well, if I get, get some use out of it as a side table, then it was not all for naught. Anyway, so this is uh, from Colonel Littleton. He always throws one of these in there. It's a leather coaster that says, strive to be stellar, Colonel Littleton, uh, when you purchase something from him. And then this, um, I guess this is sort of Valentine's Day-ish. I'm gonna say, if you are a single lady, get this entire setup. It's funny, I started using this like two weeks ago and the number of comments I get, I'm married so I really don't care, but um, the number of comments that I get from, I'm never without coffee by the way, I'm obsessed with coffee, I drink coffee uh, like it's going out of style. The number of comments that I get on this coffee setup is crazy. I literally have people stop me in the street and say like, what is going on with your coffee mug? Um, so let me tell you what's going on with my coffee mug. I didn't really think it was that big a deal, but it's it's crazy. You will have people stop you in the street. Anyway, so this is, I'm gonna take it apart so you can sort of appreciate it. This is the Yeti, standard issue 20 ounce. I didn't want the giant 32 ounce because, I don't know, it feels sort of like overwhelming a little bit. Um, and I find like when I go out and about, I don't wanna carry it. So I got the 20 ounce and it's fine for my purposes. Um, and it's nice, it's a little like slippy though. And so this is so nice on it. This comes from Holtz Leather and it was customized, so cute, look at that. Um, and it's, obviously it's stylish, you know, it doesn't really have function, but I find that it kind of does in that it's easier to hold on to and easier to grip. Uh, and then I sort of like, it's kind of heavy, right? Because it's filled, so I like let it rest on my pinky. Um, and it's Yeti, obviously. And then, so I always drink in the office with this crazy contraption, because I feel like if I have the standard issue office mug. I spend half my day walking back and forth to the kitchen refilling it because it can only hold like 12 ounces, whereas this holds like 20. So I always have this mug um, and our office is like library quiet. And so when I would walk through the hallways, you would hear my straw like clanking up against the thing and I felt like oh, kind of loud. So anyways, I found a replacement straw. This one's so nice because the whole straw minus the plastic can go in the dishwasher. Uh, but it has a silencer here, so it keeps the straw from clanking. I know, that's kind of a first world problem that your metal is clanking up against your Yeti, but whatever, it's nice. And um, I guarantee you, if you're single and you're out with this thing, I'm gonna say you're gonna get no less than two guys coming up to you saying, oh my gosh, that's so crazy, what is that? Um, so anyways, I guess this makes it a Valentine's Day presentation, but that is it. Those are my leather accessory and gift ideas. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching.